On Wednesday, December 2nd, we caught up with the El Dorado Eagles, who are 10-2 and on the season, and taking on the Cleveland Storm in the 6A championship game on Saturday. And though there's been some success at El Dorado recently, a state championship hasn't come since 1980. Coach right now does a great job, you know, with that, that program. And, you know, they have three Division One kids have already verbally committed. I mean, they have a lot of talent, but they, they play well together, and that's what's cool to see. And you'll see, I think both of our programs are kind of similar in that, you know, you'll see... A lot of hard play come Saturday, and you, but you'll see sportsmanship and you'll see kids you know, having fun playing football and playing for each other, playing for a brotherhood, and that's what it's all about. The El Dorado Eagles have been dominant all season long. A healthy dose of a power run game and a very dominant passing game has led to some big yardage. In fact, they've scored over 550 points on the season. And remember, back in week six, it was El Dorado that was up 14-0 on Cleveland. Cleveland has a lot of athletes, I mean, on offense and on defense. They're coached very well. And we're going to have to come out to play if we want to beat them. Yeah, I mean, they're a great team. And it's cool to have... You know, one versus two in the first all metro state championship there's been in New Mexico. And uh, it's just a great experience to be a part of. It leaves a mark on the and program to what our freshmen need to look up to, how much work we put in. And it's also really nice to bring our community together, kind of like have everyone come out and see us. It's nice to have our family come and see us and see what we really work for and grow up and it's finally there, you know. Kickoff is at 1 p.m. on Saturday. My name is Kyle Henderson of NMPreps.Rivals.com. Stay with us all week long. New Mexico High School football lives on NMPreps.com.